Hey, my friend, what's going on? I just wanted to record a, a quick, um, what you call it? I wanted, I wanted to record a, a quick uh, update here for you guys. Yes, it's going to be Columbus Day tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, um, so I had a question. This is uh, with regards to Facebook marketing and uh, Facebook remarketing, and, uh, custom audiences and things like that. Um, if you don't know this stuff, uh, you will struggle in your business, online business to be specific especially. Um, if you don't know this stuff, if you don't master this stuff, uh, if you have any type of success, it will be temporary and many of you have probably watched this video or uh, can probably testify to that. Um, but if you're new in the business, uh, you want to become a master of uh, uh, paid marketing online. Uh, because uh, you, there's no such thing as free marketing or viral traffic unless you learn paid marketing because uh, that essentially turns to uh, that that turns that's turn, that turns to uh, free marketing okay so I had a question you know so for those of you that are already following what we're doing I had a question and the question was when we create a look-alike audience okay so for example uh, uh, people that opt in or that subscribe to my list, they land on a page that has this uh, thing right here in the in the in the, in the in the URL. Okay, it has this thing in the URL. So when they land on here, Facebook helps me record the information of that person, IP addresses, Facebook account, the browser IDs, and you know, they, Facebook has multiple different ways of identifying uh, who these people are. Okay, and uh, and uh, you know it's a good thing you know it's a beautiful thing so I decided that uh, so I, I, I was asking a question uh, I as a matter of fact I even googled it you know but I, I couldn't find an answer but I came up with an answer I found an answer right inside of Facebook I wanted to share it with you okay uh, the question that I was asking is this when you create the lookalike audience today Facebook will essentially go out there based on the people that have opted in that have taken action on your website Facebook will go out there into their own database and they will come up with about two million people okay they come up with about two million people uh, of people that look like those people that people that have similar uh, similar attributes in their profile to the people that opted in and uh, People, human beings are predictable, so you can pretty much tell by the activities online who they are and things like that. So Facebook will go out there and scale up for you, okay? So if you have a uh, hundred people in that audience, Facebook will go out there and create two million additional people, okay? So for example, in this uh, particular audience, I have quite a few people. Let me see if I can actually show you that. In this particular audience, we probably have, I don't know, 10,000, maybe more. <coughs> Of people that have uh, opted in that have landed on that page okay so I have quite a few different custom audiences going on here okay I can actually just search okay you can use the search box here because uh, over time once you start to scale out and you start to do very well with this thing you will have a lot of custom audiences going on so I can just do this 15 CL sent Okay, I uh, pretty much sound for they asked for a free gift and I sent it to them. Okay, so for example, this has 800, you know, uh, 800. Uh, this particular page, since I started using it, has 800 people. But Facebook went out there and found 2 million additional people that look like those people that actually took action. So it's called lookalike. So my question was, does it? does it update so if you found two million today but this number right here continue to increase right so Facebook continue to have a better and better information on the kind of people that are opting into my website so my question was does this two million update by itself and at the first place you know as a, as a master of this stuff myself the first place I'm supposed to look is Facebook but you know we all we all look for easy and quick answer so I went on, on you know I, I searched uh, you, you can probably still see me searching here does I even did I see I said I said does lookalike audiences optimize and the answers I came up with they were not satisfying nobody was mentioning so I came back into Facebook to look for the answer and boom I landed on here right and then I saw this where it says ready right it says ready within uh, you know usually within an hour once you create it but I didn't notice that Facebook actually updated from time to time so today right now is 
uh, Sunday, October 9th, and this was updated yesterday. It was created first on the 19th of September, which is uh, about, what, two weeks ago or so? Yep, it was created, but they keep updating it. They keep optimizing it based on the information that you have here. So as this continues to update, this update as well too, and that's your answer. When you create a lookalike audience, if the original uh, thing continue to update, Facebook continue to update this and make the list look cleaner. Does that make sense? So it's very simple. So now that I know that, I can continue to target this audience. Okay, very simple. All right. So what I would do right now, I, I have this lookalike audience here. So you know, just as a bonus here for you guys, I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna create an ad that will literally target that. And uh, I'm gonna, so this is uh, one of my campaigns that I'm using. I'm gonna go here, but I wanna use my video, okay? I wanna use my video. So I'm actually gonna uh, duplicate this, okay? Just all I do is just duplicate. Once you have a winning ad, all you really have to do is duplicate the winning ad and use them over and over. Uh, if you wanna test new stuff, uh, I use the 80 20 rule. In other words, I don't. I don't really test, uh, I don't really test, I use 20% of my resources to test new stuff, okay? If, if I have stuff that's working and that keeps my business running smoothly. Um, so that's another tip for you right there. So here you go. So um, Facebook leads, uh, I change this to look like, look like 1%, okay? And uh, we just call this 15 CL, CL cent. That's the name of it of the of that particular audience. So I scroll down here, and all my ads are on fifteen dollars per day, uh, five dollars per day. I just have multiples of them, okay. And you can start like that. Very, you can start your business at five dollars per day. All right. Um, we go here, take that out, take that targeting out. I'm not targeting my dealer on this one. I go back here, up here. I want to include uh, look like it's right here, okay. Two million people. If you scroll scroll up a little bit, so you can see. See that lookalike audience for people that are here, and now I'm rest assured that it continues to update from time to time, and uh, I'm targeting about 1.9 million people with people that look like people that already took action. It doesn't get better than that, and it continues to it continues to update. Okay, all right. So I go here. Um, I don't have to say leads here. So this kind of thing that happened in our business will continue to clean up. All right, I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna use that data, that information right there. I go into the ad session, so I have that new one that's created here. I just want to make sure that my naming uh, structure is proper, so I can keep track of things properly. Boom! Right. So this is the actual ad right here. Okay. Chances are you've seen this ad somewhere online. Okay. Or you see the ad right here in a second. Boom, that ad right there, okay? So people continue to download uh, our infamous 15. So if you haven't done that, make sure you do that as well. Uh, you need to find this a uh, 15 point checklist. Uh, here, I just need to update that as well so my website can keep track of what's going on. That's pretty much all I do. I just set up an ad in front of you, <laughs> literally, that will pretty much uh, work for a long time, all right? So here we go, uh, boom. And we can preview this ad if you want to see what it looks like. Uh, let's see, um, this is the video right here. You can preview it real quick and see what it looks like. That's the ad. That's what it looks like in your in your feed, right? And you can, if you're looking for free traffic, this is how I get free traffic. People love the content and this stuff. They're sharing it. Okay, when they share it, now it's being exposed for free. All right, and that's what this data uh, mean. When you see social percentage, that's what that means. Anytime you see social percentage, uh, right there, you see that when people are sharing it. That's what that means. People are reacting, interacting with the ad. All right, so boom, I have that, uh, but I have this one. Uh, it says zero. We're doing twenty-two cents per lead here, thirty-three cents per conversion, rather per conversion. We have quite a few conversions going on. Uh, 39 cents per conversion, not bad, but this one has no conversion. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it off, off for now. That's all I have. Everything else seems to be working, right? 
as a matter of fact, let me let me turn this to lifetime, make sure I have the right data. All right, because <laughs> I was just looking at today's data. Okay, so if you're looking to master this stuff, okay, where you want to go, I use what I call the green traffic system. The green traffic system, green traffic system.com. It's essentially it's a free webinar where you're gonna learn a little bit more details about how I get to do this kind of stuff. You can also go to trafficwebclass.com, okay? But uh, greentrafficsystem.com, greentrafficsystem.com, that's where you want to go. Uh, let's see here, so I turn that off. Uh, okay, so I have some data here. This one has, uh, this is pretty much people that are already following me. It's a little bit more expensive, but these are quality people, right? All right, so I have that. I'm just going to review changes. Facebook will review changes and update it. So the answer to your question is, does look alike audience update automatically? Does it continue to optimize? The answer is yes. It's a big yes. So Facebook continue to improve this platform and we continue to eat off of it. If you want to learn how to do it, just go to greentrafficsystem.com. It's a free web class. Okay. Just go there and, and register for the next session. And uh, you'll be spending uh, about 45 minutes or so with me, me showing you uh, how we do this. Okay. I'll talk to you soon and peace. Hey, my friend, did you like that video? I just need a help from you. I just need help from you. Can you help me? It's just one click. Just click on that subscribe button right now. It should be under this video if you're on a mobile phone or it should be towards your left if you're on a computer. Just click on the subscribe. It's just one click. Can you do me that favor? Actually, you will get notified every single time I release a valuable video like this. I will see you on the next one and uh, peace.